Hi everyone. We're going to sketch the graph of this polynomial, just get the general shape of it. So uh, let's fill out some information. When we're determining the degree, and this is not in standard form, all we're going to do is add up the multiplicities here. So that we have 1, 2, 3. So the degree equals 3. That means we have maximum turning points of 3 minus 1, which equals 2. So the graph's going to turn at two places. Um, we're going to talk about end behavior in just a minute. Uh, the main thing you need to know is the degree and that the, our lead coefficient here is positive. Our y-intercept, that is when x is 0. So if you plug in 0, you're going to get negative 2 times negative 4 times 3. So that equals 24. So 0, 24 for the y-intercept. The zeros are when uh, y is 0, so when this whole thing is 0. So that's going to give you 2, 4, and negative 3 here for these factors here. So we have 0, uh, comma 2, 0, comma 4, and 0, comma negative 3. And all these have multiplicity of 1. That means the, um, they, when we go through the x-intercepts, it's going to cross. And we'll uh, determine intervals where y is negative and positive, this one, after we graph. So let's talk about end behavior. We have an odd number. Our degree is 3, and our lead coefficient is positive. So this is our end behavior. All right, right here. So all this means is uh, if I graph uh, y equals x cubed, let's graph it a little bit here. All we're really looking for is when we graph our uh, sketch our graph, we're going to be starting in quadrant 3 and ending in quadrant 1 as we graph from left to right. All right. Um, and all this means right here is that this is positive, positive. So as x gets larger and larger to infinity, so does my y. It also gets larger and larger. Also, as x values get smaller and smaller towards negative infinity, then so does my y. And you're just really looking at the quadrants. So uh, if you look at your quadrants, uh, since we have x is positive, positive, that means quadrant 1. And right here we have negative, negative, that means quadrant 3. All right, so let's graph this. Our y-intercept was... Um, 8 times 3, 24, and we're just sketching the graph, so I'm just going to put the 24 there. We had uh, intercepts at 2 and 4 and negative 3. Now, remember our m, oh, let me write that down, negative 3. Remember, we're starting in quadrant uh, 3, and we should be ending here in quadrant 1 as we graph from left to right. Now we go up to our first zero, negative three. And that's the odd number here. So that means we can cross here. We go up to 24 here and then make a U-turn and come back. Now as we get to two, our multiplicity is one so we can cross. Now we're not gonna worry about min and max. We're just sketching the graph. So just kind of come through here. If you want to get um, the value here, you can plug in 3 and get that exact value. But right now we're just sketching the graph. And there's your graph. that has a maximum of two turning points here and here. And this one exactly had two turning points. So let's see where our y is negative. So that means where is the graph of f 
in this quadrant 3 and 4 below the y equals 0 line. So it's negative from uh, negative infinity to negative 3. So negative infinity to negative 3 along this line on the x. And it's also negative right here. It's below from 2 to 4. Now, where is the graph uh, uh, of f of x positive? That means we're looking at this part right here. So this part right in here. All right. And that's going to be from negative 3 to 2. And right in this part right here. And that's going to go from 4 to infinity. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.